let's go on to bad popo. Should we do some bad popo right now? We do have a bad popo. Bad police officers. So this officer is not good. New York Police Department officer was just arrested by the federal government for spying for the Chinese. This is a New York City police officer, and he is a U.S. Army Reserve member. He's been arrested on federal charges of acting as an illegal agent for the Chinese regime. His name is Bad Maji and Zhang, and he's a 33-year-old naturalized U.S. citizen. He was born in China's Tibet region. He fed intelligence to the Chinese government on behalf of the ethnic Tibetans who were living in New York City. So he was charged with a few crimes, committing wire fraud, making false statements, obstructing official proceedings. He faces up to 55 years in prison if he's convicted of all the charges. Prosecutors also say he helped the Chinese consulate gain access to the New York Police Department officials. So this guy, who is a New York Police Department officer, was sort of a, a segue into the upper echelons of the New York Police Department. And why would they be doing that? Why would the Chinese want access to New York Police Department's upper echelon officials? Good question. Prosecutors also speculate that, uh, well, so he, he works as a civil affairs specialist in the Army Reserve. He has the rank of a staff sergeant. He was stationed at Fort Dix, New Jersey. His work involves planning, training, and executing civil military programs. He holds a secret level security clearance in connection with this role. In a phone call with an unarmed Chinese consular official whom he referred to as boss. So this guy's on the phone with the Chinese consul and he's calling him boss. He's identified himself individually as an asset. So he told him, I'm an asset. And he said, quote, even if they deny you in the end for whatever reason, but at least let them know, hey, you have someone in the in the police department here now. So that's according to court records. So he says, at least let the Chinese know they have somebody in the police department now. So he's basically making a full commitment to the Chinese Communist Party. He is saying he, he's calling, he's texting his supervisors, his handlers who are part of the Chinese government. He said that the, the court records said that he called and texted the boss at least 55 times between June 2018 and March 2019. And he told them all about the NYPD upcoming events. He said that the they were trying to raise our country's soft power, indicating that Intel could help them, uh, the, the officials, advance in the ranks within the Chinese government. He operated on behalf of a foreign government, lied to get his clearance. He used his position as a police officer to aid the Chinese in subversive attempts and so on and so forth. So, you know, this guy is is not not good. This is a very, very bad popo. And there are a couple things that I wanted to highlight here because there are some interesting connections. So let's first talk about every single oath that this guy violated, right? He violated an oath to the New York Police Department when he first got on there, right? He, he, he didn't, he, he swore an oath to protect whatever their oath is. He also made an oath in the U.S. Army and to the U.S. And so this guy is just constantly uh, violating his oath of off his oath of of his duties of his job performance. Mm -hmm.